video, we are going to take a numerical which will illustrate the application of nodal analysis. So I have taken a numerical having two voltage sources of a value 120 volt and 110 volt and resistances are given 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.1. I consider this is R1. And R2 and currents are given, meaning here current is given as I1, I2, I3, and voltages of these two nodes are given VA, VB and current flowing through R1 is given as 3 ampere and current flowing through R2 is given as 20 ampere now objective is to find out all the unknowns so here we are supposed to find out VA VB currents I1 I2 I3 and resistances R1, R2. So let's start. Since they have already marked nodes and current in all the branches, so only thing is that I'll mark this as a reference node because one, two, three, four branches are connected. So I will consider this as a reference node. And directly we can apply KCL. So let's apply KCL at node A. So for node A, I'm having one incoming current and two outgoing currents. So equation for this incoming current, or I'll do one thing. Before writing an equation, let's write the equation in terms of given values, meaning current I1 is incoming. I2 outgoing and this 3 ampere is directly given so let's write plus 3 as it is now let's write I1 I2 in terms of VA VB so I1 is a current which has started from reference and ending on A node so starting from reference ending on A and in the direction I am having a voltage rise 120 volt so plus 120 divided by resistance of this branch 0 0.2 equal to I2 started at A ending on B. So VA minus VB divided by 0 0.3 plus 3 I will keep as it is. So let's club all VA terms together. So I will have VA multiplied by 1 upon minus 0.2 minus 1 upon 0.3. This VB will come this side. So VB minus 1 upon, sorry, it will be plus 1 upon 0.3. equal to 3 I will keep as it is and this constant will go that side so it's minus 120 divided by 0.2 so I will consider this as equation 1 similarly I can apply KCL at node B so at node B I am having two incoming currents I2 and I3 equal to outgoing current which is given as 20 ampere equal to 
20. Now, let's write I2, I3 in terms of VAVP. So, I will have VA minus VB divided by 0.3 plus now this current I3 has started from reference and ending on B point and in the direction I am having a voltage rise of 110 volt. So the equation will be 0 minus VB plus 110 divided by resistance of this branch which is 0.1 equals 20. So I can club VA terms together all VB terms together and then constant so 20 I will keep as it is this will go other side so 110 divided by 0.1 this will be equation number 2 now solving equations 1 and 2 I will get VA equal to 115.6 volt so it's the first outcome and VB I will get 109.9 volt by knowing the values of VA and VB I can get I1 so that is equal to let's go back to the circuit to check I1 equal to 0 minus VA plus 120 divided by 0.2 so actually it is minus VA plus 120 divided by 0.2 answer I will get is 22 ampere similarly I2 so I2 equals VA minus VB upon 0.3 so VA minus VB upon 0.3 after substituting the values of VA and VB I will get answer 19 ampere and finally I3 so again I3 equals 0 minus VB plus 110 divided by 0.1 so it is minus VB plus 110 divided by 0.1 the answer you will get is 1 ampere now we have to find out R1 and R2 so it's very simple because VA is a voltage across this R1 and the current given is 3 ampere so simply by Ohm's law I can say R1 equals VA divided by 3 so this is equal to 38.5333 Ohm similarly R2 we can get by knowing the value of VB and this current so VB we got 20 ampere is given so simply by Ohm's law I can say VB divided by 20 so the answer I will get is 5.495 Ohm so here we have taken a problem where so many unknowns were given but still a powerful technique called as nodal analysis will simplify the circuit and you will get all answers which are linked to these two values VA and VB in subsequent videos we will solve more numericals based on nodal analysis thank you